The Liumahama Sports Stadium, once a symbol of pride named after the former Vice President of Ghana, now stands in disrepair, a testament to what many perceive as mismanagement by authorities. Football enthusiasts and stakeholders alike express grave concerns about the future of this iconic structure located in Tamale in the northern region. Our correspondent Shawana Yusif from the northern region delves deeper into the deteriorating condition of the stadium in this report. The Aliu Mahama Sports Stadium, boasting a sitting capacity of 20,000, now represents a sorry sight, with most of its fittings and fixtures rendered ineffective. Constructed at a cost of $38.5 million alongside the Second D Sports Stadium, it was meant to be a centerpiece for hosting the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations. During a recent visit by our team from City News, we observed broken chairs, dilapidated towels, litter strewn across the field, and the once vibrant green page now at the mercy of the elements. Go to that stage that. Nobody could understand what was or what is actually happening with regards to management of this facility. It is so sad that the current state of this facility is nothing to write home about. Let's take a look at the gymnasium, the gym center where people can come and exercise. Nothing. The machines that were there, electronic machines, nothing is working now. It's only the metals that is there. You ask yourself, people were paying weekly, monthly, and if possible, quarterly, just to come and access that gym center. Now, nothing is there except metals. You ask yourself, where has the money gotten to, gone to? Again, look at the stance. When you look at the stance, those supporters of Tamale, sometimes uh, when they are irate, will try breaking the, uh, either the glass or breaking properties to, I mean, throw. Clubs has been fined. And when they find them, they say they will use it to maintain those things. But nothing will be done. That means the money goes somewhere though i can't uh, substantiate but if it is not going somewhere why wouldn't they use that money to fix those problems when you consider the pitch too it's just a matter of maintaining it furthermore Electricity supply to the facility has been severed due to outstanding debts owed to its power suppliers. In interviews conducted, some disillusioned football fans voiced frustrations over the poor state of the stadium, squarely placing blame on mismanagement. We can't even boast that these are people who are maintaining the pitch. Water. Water to even water the pitch. No, nobody knows what is happening because Ghana Water Company has even disconnected this facility. You talk of electricity. It was, it was widely publicized that Netco disconnected this facility because of unpaid electricity utility. Managed to even connect them was a hell and I don't even know whether they have light or not. This is the state the appalling state of our facility. Look at the training pit that was designed to, I mean, augment such that there wouldn't be enough pressure on the main pit. Nothing. Now there is no grass. I don't know whether it's a desert pit, it's a grazing ground for cattle. Nobody can tell. That is the state. The state of the stadium is very obvious. A lot of people know what's happening. And if you happen to enter there, you see that a lot of the chairs are broken. Um, the pitch is dried up, the grass on the pitch is dried up, and there are a lot of um, unpleasant, um, you know, things inside there. Even cleaning too is a problem. And if you get inside the bathroom, uh, the, how do you call it, the bathrooms, the washrooms, and all those stuff, you see that it's not in good shape. So I think um, that one is obvious. And I think the cost is kind of like, uh, it's a national issue, because I think in the whole nation we have um, a maintenance culture issue in the whole nation. You can see that uh, even street lights on the streets are not 
um, maintained so we can have um, electricity on the roads. And so the stadium too is just as part of that. So I think it is not um, an exceptional issue that we can put the entire blame on the management here in Northern Ghana or the, the National Sports Authority to say that they, ha they are those who have left it, um, you know, to go that bad. But in one way, we can also blame them because they are in charge and they are supposed to send reports to their, um, how do you call them, their um, leaders to, you know, act on that. So I think the, the, the nature of the field is very bad. But not long ago, we heard that the sports ministry were here. They came to assess and see how the stadium was. So they came through and then they told us that they were going to organize and come and maintain it. Adding to the chorus of concerns, a retired RTU footballer also shared his sentiments on the current plight of the sports stadium. Till the government intervene with the Kamale Aliu Mama Sports Stadium, nothing can be done. All the materials used there are expired. Nothing can be done. And all money is paid here, decentralize it. Okay, raise your money and work on it. Then maybe we will have done something. Is it a point? But the money, part of it is paid to Accra and one is left here for other things. The one which is left here cannot do any renovation. You see the point? And like I said, I say I'm not holding proof for the, for the, uh, uh, the authority here. You see the point? I also have a, she has a problem. She has grown enemies around herself. And that is why she's always having that problem. The noise is too much. Look, they have accused the national director of the uh, embezzling 160,000. It is reported here that she has uh, embezzled 160,000. Meanwhile, it is national. Let's go into partnership. All our saviors, let's go into partnership. So that if we are able to partner well, those in partnership will also help in keeping the stadium because they have invested their money. They would like to protect their money. So they will make the place very good for everybody to come to it, and then we'll see how we can do it. But government, if we are going to wait for government alone, we can't do At the Aliu Mahama Sports Stadium, City News can confirm that uh, the facility is in a deplorable state with the pitch in a very terrible condition, uh, probably due to lack of proper watering mechanism to keep the pitch as green as it's supposed to be. Um, seats have also been spotted broken, some of them so dusty. And uh, of course, people who come to use this facility may have to do a lot of thorough cleaning to be able to use the facility. Our visit to some of the washroom, um, I would say is an eyesore because there is no water flowing in this facility. And also electricity has been dis disconnected all due to indebtedness on this facility. Football enthusiasts want management to do something urgently about this situation as we hear that the, G the GPL has been reassigned to other stadia. Our attempt to speak to management proved futile as the director and the administrator are yet to even return our calls on request to have a word with them on the state of the pitch. For City News, my name is Shawana Yusuf, Northern Region, Tamale.